What's up everyone? I have a 5 Piranha victory for you today. I was pleasantly surprised to discover how easy this 5 of a kind actually was to get. I expected it to be one of the more difficult ones because you have so many powerhouse tier 6 units in this star pack. You have Sabertooth, you have the Orca, you have stuff like the uh, Komodo as well which is kind of good when uh, going for the 5 of a kind because it can scale itself up. But no, it turns out the Piranha is decent. Especially when you put a pepper on it, it can pretty easily get all of the Piranhas up to 50 attack when you are going for the 5 of a kind. So uh, yeah, we're going to be going for that today. And you can see how I did it pretty shortly. I here decide to take maybe, I guess not the level up just yet, but I am planning on getting the level up on the Cockroach next turn. Because one of the uh, most uh, reliable strategies that I have discovered for uh, 5 of a kinds in this star pack is just leveling up on turns 3 and 4 and uh, thankfully we found the Capybara which is the perfect pet that we were looking for. The other level up was a Pug which is not perfect but it's still not too bad. And you can see I'm taking a lot of um, macaques, or well, that wasn't a macaque actually, it's a Marmoset. I'm taking a lot of Marmosets because when you sell them they give you a free roll and that is obviously super synergistic with the Capybara. And the idea is going to be get as many Capybaras as possible, scale up the shop as much as you can. You can see we are sacrificing a heart to make this work. But I think it's going to be worth it especially now when we find even a second Capybara. The entire shop is getting plus 4 plus 2 and now with the third one it's getting plus 6 plus 3 so everything we buy from the shop is going to be super powerful and you can see here we find double anteater so we're going to take that and uh, yeah this is basically the setup we have one level up prepared in the capybara hopefully we find an anteater as well so we can get double level ups and thankfully we do by the end of the term we're going to hop into battle and I think we're going to be good enough to win. Yep, it's looking like it. Anteater is so good, like, especially with this improved stat line from the Capybaras and uh, then the end that spawns at the end giving an extra plus 3 plus 3. We find yet another Capybara, so we're going to start up from a 2-5 up to a 9-9 nine nine, and we're going to include the third Anteater on the team. And literally nothing is defeating us right here, we're just too powerful, this is an insane high roll that we have gotten ourselves into. Our opponent is running Salamander Strats, very old school, I believe actually that was Collie Wally who is a fellow Saptuber, so I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. But you can see the level ups are paying off, we leveled up into a Polar Bear, so uh, we're going to be doing Wombat Proud with this run. We even find the crow, so we can hopefully get the polar bear up to level 2 next turn. But in the meantime we're going to be scaling up a hog because I think that's a decent unit. And I might have also been going for the 5 of a kind hog at this point. You can see even though we positioned the anteater wrongly, it was still an easy victory right there. So uh, we're uh, breezing through the opponents at this point. We take another level up, sadly it is not another polar bear, but we do roll into a mantis plus a blobfish, so we will peel the blobfish onto the polar bear and uh, get it up to level 2 immediately. The nice thing about that interaction is that uh, the mantis is going to trigger first and uh, get the polar bear up to level 2 and then the polar bear is going to trigger its ability at level 2 giving an 8-8 buff instead of a 4-4. So we are not missing out on a single strong buff right here. You can see the hawk is getting buffed. And we do find the first piranha of the five of a kind. We freeze it immediately hoping to reap the benefits of the polar bear scaling next turn. For now we are just rolling maybe hoping to see some more polar bears. I decide to sell the mantis because it would be a tragedy if it <laughs> destroyed the polar bear right there. So we take another hawk instead. Maybe we level up into another piranha, who knows. In the meantime we are just going to win easily right here. 
and uh, that's super good to see because it allows us to greet some more with the uh, frozen uh, piranha. We don't need to take it immediately because we are still strong enough to defeat the opponents. Unfortunately, we are not finding many other polar bears, but I guess that is a given because of the frozen shop slot that we have. Thankfully, at the very last row, we do find another one, so we will be giving the piranha plus 12 plus 12. I think here we might lose, though, it depends. Actually, it does not depend at all, we just lost uh, convincingly. So, uh, whatever the case though, we do have a 30-24 Piranha, so that can go into the team and immediately receive a Pepper as well. Or maybe not, I may be hoping to see another Piranha first, because we don't want to waste the Polar Bear scaling. It's kind of difficult to balance out how you want to do this. I'm pretty sure Wombat is an expert on the subject, but I really cannot get the grasp of how much I should be rolling and how much I should be investing in the team and you can see sadly we don't get another piranha so i have to freeze something here if i want to receive the buffs i decide to freeze the zebra right there because it's a buy sellable it can maybe give some stats to the piranhas and the polar bears and uh, it's looking like we're going to be fine here yep winning just barely the mat was very generous another donkey player Getting a 19-21 Zebra, which uh, sadly I don't believe is going to stick around for very long, but thankfully we do find another Piranha in the shop, so we won't be wasting another turn of the Polar Bear scaling. I think on this turn, hopefully we should be fine because of the Pepper, but we shall see. It's looking pretty good maths wise. Another Donkey player, and actually the Donkey screwed us over right there. I think if not for its mispositioning we would have been fine, but it was hilarious to see us losing right there. So now we can include the second piranha, put a pepper on it as well, hopefully roll into a third one. If we don't we are losing out on so much scaling from the polar bears. Thankfully on the very last row we managed to find the piranha, so we are fine on that front. You can probably tell that a lot of luck went into getting this run to be uh, successful. But I'm not complaining at all, I'm taking a 3-5 of a kind if it's presented to me. We'll sell a polar bear to make space for the piranha. Hopefully give it a pepper and hopefully find another piranha to receive the polar bear buffs. We do find double pepper in the shop actually, but I think it's more of a priority for us to find the piranha and thankfully we do. We are on 8 wins currently as well, so we need to get the 5 of a kind set up ASAP. We are fine here I think. It's actually kind of a beneficial matchup because the snipes are going to trigger the hurt effect of the piranha and we are going to get some extra attack. So yeah, we win there uh, pretty closely, even though it's kind of a beneficial matchup, but yeah, we're going to transition into the fourth piranha, hopefully finding the fifth one as well, because we are on nine wins. And thankfully we do find it. Not enough money to buy the double pepper in the shop, but I think we should be fine. This is not the final round, I don't believe. But you can see here the opponent has very high stats and uh, we get some very lucky breakpoints in order to draw with them. So uh, yeah, very lucky right there, we're going to be putting double pepper to increase our odds of winning next round, as well as maybe popcorn I think is better than the orange right there. Maybe this summon gets us a win after all, so let's see. Our opponent is going to be a pretty weak looking team with a level 3 lion that doesn't get to trigger its effect, I guess this person is achievement hunting. But uh, what's going to end up happening is that a lot of summons are going to break the peppers and this summon at the end gets us the draw. So yet another clutch draw and I believe this is going to be the final round. Hopefully finding some good food. We find a hot dog and at the very end we are going to buy a fried shrimp onto the 22 attack piranha to hopefully bump it up to 25 so it can trade with a 50-50 with the pepper and this is going to be the build very lucky that it made it over the line but i hope you enjoy nonetheless 
And if you do, I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.